Hey there everyone, Jeff here. Welcome back to Imagination Tech. So first of all, Happy New Year to all of you. It seems like it's going to be a good 2024. That said, today we are going to be looking at this uh, unboxing. I'm just going to pour the contents of this all out onto the table. So, this is the new Avatar Goggles X from Walksnail. This is uh, digital FPV goggles and we are going to be taking a look at all of these today so come on let's uh, take a look at what I got So we're going to be starting off with the Avatar HD Goggles X, which is the heart of the Waxnail Digital F HD FPV system. Um, comes with these things included inside the box. So let's just get our box cutter and check it out for ourselves. All right, so inside the box, it's all neatly packaged within the box and nothing else is in this cardboard box. So this is a really nice carrying case. At least it's all in there and you don't have to, you know, you can put this whole thing inside your, uh, your backpack or your bag. And the thing I like about the Goggles X when I was uh, seeing it was that, uh, you know, it fit inside the box already with antennas. So that's, the, that's one of the things that I really didn't like about, you know, having uh, Fat Shark Goggles was that I had to remove the antennas, I had to screw them in every time so there's the cloth there's your cable the the foam the foam that they said is already included and yeah it's here inside the case we find a quick start guide which shows you all of the uh, the parts or the features of the actual physical goggles as well as uh, a binding process with the step-by-step uh, steps on how to bind your goggles with your VTX and if you're interested in a full manual which I am because I used to really like reading uh, you know uh, manuals you can just use your, your scanner or your phone and it'll take you to a website where you can download the manual so it says this thing takes up to 26 volts which is right just you know just over 6s voltage Underneath there is the, the the HDMI input is over here, the HDMI out is over here, and the AV input is here. And there's also a micro SD card slot for recording your um, your DVR as well as for firmware updates. And over here you have your proximity sensor. So if it detects that you are not wearing the goggles, it you know you can set it to automatically turn off the screen to save on power um, but yeah this thing just detects uh, if your face is near uh, or you know you're wearing your goggles so it activates the screen but you can also turn that off in software I believe so we will be taking a closer look at that later on so the goggles X retails at $469 or uh, 470 dollars and um, I believe that is the final price, not just uh, the early bird or promo price. And it's available from different retailers like uh, Maker Fire, which sells them at $10 more expensive, but sh it's free shipping all around the world, so that's fine. I got this, uh, the Goggles X with the Mob Light 7. It's going to be perfect for anyone who wishes to get into the digital FPV system quickly because for just $50 more, you get this Mob Light 7. It already has the Walk Snail. Uh, one SVTX already installed so that would you know uh, if you're starting out in FPV you just need to buy your radio and get a goggles X with the mobile light 7 and you know you can be up in the air in no time for not a lot of money <laughs> this is an ELRS version already with the one SVTX as you can see here that is the one X, the VTX 1S with also the CADX uh, camera that comes included with that so this, uh, again, this is just $530, $520. So you can get this from your 
direct from the Cadex FPV website or from um, your favorite retailer. And this should get you up in the air quickly. And that's what I'm planning to do as well. Now let's take a look at these two VTXs. So I already have one of the 1S VTX. It's already pre-installed on the Mobilite 7 or the Mobilite 7 1S. And I also have the Avatar HD Pro Kit as well as the Avatar HD Kit V2. And I believe the Avatar HD Pro Kit is the one that's really good for low light situations. But this is the V2 is what I'm going to be putting into my um, Cinebot 30 because this one is has a shorter camera and uh, so that's what I'm going to be using. You can see that there's a pull tab in the, yeah, with their packaging. But unfortunately, that pull, same pull tab seems to have been stuck inside the packaging. So there's really nothing to pull with this other one. So here on the left is the HD Pro Kit. And you can see that it has a braided uh, sleeve for the wires. And the camera itself is much longer. While the, the V2 Kit uh, has a shorter camera. You can see it's significantly shorter very very much shorter this one has just a regular silicone or rubber sheath um, from the looks of it the vtx's are identical there's also a difference between the two because i believe the hd pro kit has a 169 native resolution while this one has a native 43 resolution there is this usb c board i believe this is for upgrading your firmware on your vtx or connecting to your computer so both of them have these uh, extra screws for mounting as well as that uh, cable. Uh, again, the HD Pro Kit is better for low light, for nighttime, uh, nighttime flights, which is, by the way, illegal here in the Philippines, unless you have a special permit for you know, shooting at night. I can't wait to put these on some of my quads. I have uh, each of the VTXs except the ones that have dual antennas. Those are a little bit more expensive by not a, not an insignificant number uh, but yes uh, this one has a single antenna this is the single antenna vtx version you can get a vtx with dual antennas special it's most especially uh, great if you're flying long range perhaps so you'd probably want that and invest uh, a little bit more you know money for the dual antenna version and last but not least is this mystery box which is particularly useful for someone like me who really likes to do long range. This was not available initially, I believe, but uh, it did eventually become available. And not a lot of people got it, probably because they didn't think that they would need it. And prob I probably won't be using this initially as well, but just as an option, if I'm doing my mountain surfing or I'm doing my long range, and especially now since we have our ongoing year-end long-range uh, challenge and mount long-range and mountain surfing challenge that's open to all Philippine re Filipino residents or fil residents of the Philippines. Doesn't matter if you're Filipino or not. Uh, if you live here in the Philippines, then uh, you can join that uh, comp that challenge, that competition, and there are some prizes that await you. So the stock, uh, what do you call this? <laughs> The stock front plate of the Goggles X is this. It lights up when you plug in a battery. Um, yeah, uh, this one this one is removable, so you can replace this. And this is a patch antenna. This is, uh, and a patch antenna is just a forward, uh, you know, it has a forward facing beam. Unlike these omnidirectional antennas where you can fly all around to the side to, the, to your back and it's still, it'll pretty much still get a good reception these you can get a good range on these stock antennas as well but if you're really you know interested in going long range you probably want to have these uh, these this patch antenna and it's supposedly going to make the beam width uh, narrower which means that you can fly longer because it's it's a narrower but it goes the the signal goes farther so i have 4s here lying around i'm sure, i think it still has a charge and you can immediately immediately after unplug after plugging it uh, turns on it doesn't have a power switch this this isn't the power switch it's just a embossed logo for the you know embossed power logo to tell you that that's the power uh, power input but yes this is 
Oh. I'll have to remove this, obviously. And obviously, I don't think you can see it, but it has a nice looking screen inside. So there's nothing else for us to do right now but to install those, uh, you know, Avatar HD VTXs on our quads or probably I'll just fly with the Mobula 7 first and test out this Waxnail Avatar HD FPV system. So that is going to be it for this video. I just wanted to show you my Christmas haul of my Waxnail Avatar system, especially these new Goggles X. Now, what did you think about these goggles? Will it make you switch from analog to digital or are you just getting into FPV and want to dive straight into the digital FPV system? Let me know what you think in the comments. I've shot a ton of videos of the Goggles X and the Waxnail Avatar system and I'll be showing you a lot more uh, in, in upcoming videos as well. But I didn't want to keep this video too long because it's, it's already long as it is. In fact, the original introduction to this video was around eight minutes long and I just cut it like, you know, what, what you saw in, earlier in the video. But I'll post that extra eight minutes as an extra content and I'll link it in the description below in case you want to watch that extended, ver extended introduction. Uh, but yeah, it just contains some of my New Year's greetings and a couple of thoughts on FPV. So if you're interested in that, I'll post that in the description as well as any links to products that I may have mentioned in this uh, video. So do check that out. If you like this video and found it informative, please give it a like and make sure you're subscribed. Alright, so I am going to leave you with that. As always, keep building and keep flying.